Hi. Today we are actually making a dal and a raw banana side dish with some dal and some rice. So it's actually made uh, by my husband. So here he is cutting. He crushed some uh, garlic here, and then he is cutting uh, one tomato and few green chilies there. So and let's see what else is in the preparation. So here he put some um, the regular uh, tarka, and then he has added this this vegetable, which is like a melon, almost like a cucumber-looking uh, vegetable, which is yellow in color. Um, and he has added some onions and then some curry leaves and the red chili. And this one over here is a dal and uh, which is already cooked and the rice is also ready. So I'm just waiting for this dal to be made and uh, the <coughs> raw banana uh, side dish to be prepared so that I can show you the plating for diabetic meal. So this is the preparation for the raw banana that he is doing. He added some oil, some uh, like cumin seeds he is adding. Let this heat up. Here, so he directly added uh, this uh, cumin and then uh, garlic he added and then green chilies. Some more cumin seeds. Almost like one teaspoon of cumin seeds is gone into that. It's a very interesting dish. I can't wait to eat it. It's uh, looking already, uh, already it is looking very delicious. I don't know why. Maybe it's because uh, I'm not the one who is making it. Could be. Mm. Now I already cut the raw uh, banana for them so that it is easier for it to make. I basically made all the preparation for my husband so that it's easier for him to make it. And also it was quite late, it's about 7.30, so we want to eat. Oh. So let's make it Like usually I try to eat dinner before 8 o'clock. Just uh, so yeah, uh, cut everything for her, made everything ready for her. So there we go, the raw banana has been added into this pan here. So already it looks very delicious. So now we are adding salt uh, to this. A lot of times I feel uh, that, you know, maybe I shouldn't be talking in the video because uh, every step is so obvious that, you know, we don't have to actually explain it. So here we added the tomatoes into the cooking vegetables, the cucumber, the yellow cucumber that was cooking earlier. We added the tomatoes in the pot. Go ahead, Nina. We added some chili powder. That's actually a homemade chili powder. My mother in law actually sends it. Sometimes my mom sends it. Most of the times my mom used to send Nowadays my mother in law is actually sending it. Um, very convenient, you know, when uh, somebody sends you the chili powder. And the taste uh, doesn't be. Beat, you know. The store bought chili powders are pretty bad, so I never to use them. Yeah. So maybe you can add some water. Or maybe not, I don't know. But it's already the dishes, you think, so delicious. I can't be. 
in this raw banana or plantain is is very very good it's uh, very nutritious and also it has a lot of protein and fiber so it's an excellent side dish if you are a vegetarian person lot of protein in it look at that it feels like you're making some non veg dish or something but it's actually it's so looking yummy i can't wait to eat it some more sprinkle of water and close the lid to be done and now here I covered it and cooked it for a bit. adding a little bit of chili powder again into the dish also of course uh, these are the main ingredients we have to add a bit of Indian cooking chili powder or paneer powder and turmeric powder are the most but I think we didn't add paneer powder into this so only chili powder so far and we are adding some water into it for some time I think we can cover it for a bit. Oh here yeah, guys so <clears throat> we're actually crushing the dal nicely. So about two cups of uh, dal. It looks a lot to me but let's see how much we're gonna add. Uh, right now is uh, We are mashing the dal, mashing the dal nicely. Smells, the dal is smelling so good. Now we have moved over to this place and I'm actually going to simmer the stove because it has so much water. And there you go. It's good. It's cooked, okay. You, so, you have to wait for it to cook before you add the dal. Okay. There is adding up the dal. Rest of the dal can be kept left kept for later use. For making some rasam or whatever you want to make. It's a good idea to cook extra dal like this. There, that actually looks really good. Make sure you have added salt into it. Nice. So let's check the. It's done. Let's check on the raw banana. It looks like it's almost done. You know, it was instantly it just got cooked. So. taste just had a piece of it oh my gosh like it tastes so good you guys have to try this one it's very very tasty look at that now it's even boiling and look at that that looks even better now okay so that is done and this is done guys now some, it's all about some ghee on it. Ghee. It's holiday season, so it's okay. Not eating like sweets and cakes and ice creams like everybody, so a little bit of ghee is fine, guys. And look at that dal, it looks really nice. The dal is looking really 
very nice and then can't wait to eat it and of course this raw banana the side dish is also looking very good so <clears throat> so it almost took like like 15 minutes for us to prepare this because everything was ready and uh, you know everything was cut and everything was ready to go dal was cooked the rice was cooked so i think this is actually a good way for me to um show you guys <clears throat> diabetic meal law plating and meal preparation because it's faster the way i make it like most of the times i'm also showing you all the preparation steps like cutting and washing so maybe i should skip those uh, steps and this is much more easier and much more faster for me to actually post it for you guys to see so anyways I, and look at this the rice is all ready so now it's all about um how we are going to plate it for a diabetic meal so and the fruit for the day is going to be wood apple today uh, i'm going to cut some wood apple and uh, i'm going to just uh, garnish it with some salt and red chili powder it's really good if you guys don't like to eat fruits always try to add some i'll just a small amount of a pinch not even a pinch few crystals of salt and chili powder just goes in really nicely and it's all about eating a fruit right end of the day so there we go we got the vegetables we got the proteins from the dal and then there is carbs out so and then your fruits um remember to eat a fruit like after an hour or an hour and a half to two hours after your meal eat a fruit always that actually is very important that you eat some fruits so let's go ahead and <clears throat> show you the plating bring in your rice Give the stall a nice mix so that the ghee is nicely mixed in. There you go, guys. There you go, guys. So <clears throat> that looks really delicious. I can't wait to eat today. Mm. And then go ahead and place good amount of uh, plantain. So <clears throat> one thing that is missing is some boiled eggs, but that's okay because we are having a late dinner. I think it's better that we eat a little bit lighter. So there you go. My one plate mealing is all ready, and we'll cut some um, wood apple, and then uh, probably can show you that. in a bit so thank you for watching and i hope you like these videos uh, please subscribe and uh, comment this is for my son so has actually reduced the intake of rice so it's a good sign for him um he's been seeing a dietitian and then you know so along with pre diabetic and diabetic in the house we also have a person who is a little bit on the chubbier side so so it actually is very convenient for me to actually make diabetic meals like this after 2 hours you go ahead and have this uh, pears 
sorry I thought this was wood apple and I don't know why I was saying wood apple but this is pears green pears with some chili powder and salt 